Hi, my name is Marjorie and I'm the director of the Little Compton Historical Society and the Wilbur House Museum. And today I welcome you to a two minute tour of the Victorian kitchen in the Wilbur House. Uh, the Wilbur family lived in this house for six generations. The last generation to live here, actually the last two generations to live here, got to enjoy this Victorian kitchen. One of the neatest things about the kitchen is that in the 1950s, when volunteers were turning the Wilbur House into a museum, they decided not to open the Victorian kitchen to visitors because it was too ordinary. Too many houses in Little Compton in the 1950s still had a kitchen like this with a cast iron stove and the museum volunteers just didn't think people would find this interesting at all. Today, I think it's one of the rooms that visitors connect with most um, because some of our older visitors do remember their grandmother having a kitchen like this um, when they were little. The kitchen was added to the house around 1860, so just prior to the Civil War. And the Wilbers actually added two Victorian kitchens to the house at that time. The house was being shared by Lorana Wilbur, who was the head of the household, and three of her adult children, her single daughter, Deborah, her son, William, and her son, Oliver. Oliver and William divided up the house, each lived in half of the house as sort of a separate apartment, and each of those apartments was given a Victorian kitchen much like this one. I think it's wonderful that after a lifetime of cooking on an open hearth, Lorana Wilbur finally was able to enjoy the conveniences of a modern kitchen like this, like the cast iron stove, which was so much safer and efficient and easier to cook on than a fireplace or to cook with than a fireplace. The Wilbers also had an ice box, which would have helped keep food fresh for them all throughout the year and would have reduced their reliance on foods like salted meat, which prior to refrigeration was one of the few ways you could have meat all throughout the year. The kitchen also had running water. The pump would draw up water from a cistern, which is right underneath us in the floor, and the cistern would have collected water off the roof. So this was not intended to be drinking water. This was water for washing up, washing dishes, washing clothes, washing people. And it certainly would have made the Wilbur's lives much easier than having to draw all of their water from the well. Right off the kitchen, we have a good sized pantry that would hold the Wilbur family's food and kitchenware. And on the other side of the stove, there's a broom closet and a set of stairs leading to the hired man's room. It was very, very common for Little Compton's farming families to have hired help on the farm. Very often they would hire a woman to work in the house and a man to work, or one or two men, to work on the field. And those um, hired hands would be given different places to sleep in the house. Um, later on, we'll get a peek at the hired man's room. 